So I don't know if you've ever encountered one of the situations I have encountered a lot in the last month and a half. Walking down the street minding your own business and then suddenly a random person you've never seen in your life starts acting like your best friend and starts chatting to you and you look at them, oh are they trying to sell me something, are they trying to uh, make me, me go in a shop and look at their sales and uh, as you keep on talking they start being very friendly and they ask you what are you doing with your life, uh, what are you doing in Cambridge if you're from around, I mean I'm not from Cambridge, it's obvious, and most of them are trying to guess where I'm from and I'm like, I don't want to tell you, I don't want to tell you, but because I'm trying to stop that really annoying, weird, random guessing game with a person I've never met before and they haven't even introduced themselves to me, I'd say, okay, I'm, I'm from Romania, guys, what do you want? And they keep asking me really cool questions like, uh, oh, and is Romania cool? You've been uh, for a long time in the UK? And I'm like, it's none of your business. And you keep repeating the questions. Oh, so you've been here for long. Uh, two years, university. Can you leave me alone now? Okay, I've been in the UK for this long, but you know what I am? I don't really care, that's my answer. I don't really care. And they say, well, I am, insert religious position. Anything from monks to priests to uh, religion, um, I don't even know the word for it. They're, they're trying to sell me religion, basically. And the cool part is the fact that they always try to send me a different religion. And I'm like, okay, uh, I'm busy, I'm in a hurry. Most of the times when I'm out, because I spend a lot of time in house, but when most of the times I'm out, I have to get to uh, from A to B in this amount of time, because in the place B, I need to do something. So most of the times I don't have time to spend talking about religion with a random stranger so this one time particular one time i was actually free and i was like okay i don't want anything from you but two can play this game so let's see if i can be as annoying as you are and i start asking the same questions like a religion what else have you done with your life why are you doing this now even if the question is what's two plus two they will answer with I am doing this and I've got this and they take a random book let's say this one it's not a book but you know what I mean and they give it to me and I'm like I don't want it I don't want it and they're like hypnotizing me like take it take it you know you want it take it and obviously they want to make you buy the book and they say this quote which is if you want you can take it it's for free but we accept donations okay but they say it's for charity and you guys know I am a sucker for charity in a way I love helping charity people and it's it's like this thing that, that pops my head charity I need to help people I need to help people help people money, money, money. and most of the times I don't wear uh, have my wallet with me or cash I might have my debit card so the, a few times I, I, I'm free I'm like oh, sorry guys I you hold it back I don't have any donations and I don't want to take the book maybe someone else will give you a donation for it and after like wasting 10 minutes of my life, I can go away, mind my own business. But sometimes I do have money, and that's the bigger problem. I open my wallet, my cash, I take five pounds, five dollars for you, five basically, and I hand it to the person. And um, last time, which was yesterday, one of the weirdest things happened. He said, yeah, but it's not gonna make any difference. And I'm like, what are you on about me? And he said, it's not going to make any difference. Okay, why? Well, it cost five pounds only to print the book. It won't be any change if you only give me five pounds back. And I'm like, okay, I thought it was free. These five pounds for charity. But because I'm a soft soul, I obviously give in to it, give up and I give them the money. And for the past uh, five to six weeks, randomly, I've had this amazing collection of books. As you can see, they're all related to a different religion. And you can see that it, they're interesting. Like when they're talking to you, they make you invested in it. I'm like, oh, obviously I want a book that will make me happy and stop being depressed and save my soul. But uh, when you're a busy man, which I'm not, but when you are a busy man, you don't have time for it. Like you can notice, I think this is the first book I got and it's still foliated or whatever you call it. See, it's, it's, uh, I didn't even open it. 
what am I trying to say with this? I don't really know. But you know all these jokes and like experiences. You might have not encountered one of these person on the streets, but you encounter like they knock at your door and I'm like, oh, we're trying to sell you this religion and that religion and. <sighs> I don't have a strong opinion on religion, I just don't really mind it. But sometimes I think it's just abusive. Oh, and back to one of the things I said, you know, when they, so I said I, they gave me this and I got it. And and you're trying to give it back to them and like, and they ignore you or like, they take a look at your hand and they're like, no, 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 and they keep talking about stuff. And I'm like, please take it, please take it. And they, 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 they let you have it because it's like um, they're trying to manipulate you into buying it, into taking it. I mean, not buying it, we're offering them money, whatever. It's still, they offer you something for money, which is buying, no matter what you want to say about it. It's your own business, what you do, your money. And my advice for all of you monks out there that follow my YouTube channel, <laughs> just maybe, maybe stop being so up up front because it's a bit annoying they're really friendly but you know the whole thing with oh i don't want to take, take it take it take it and the way they make you feel guilty if you don't offer them money or if they feel make you feel guilty if you don't talk to them or if you don't take the book or whatever they're trying to sell you it's really bad because if they make all the experience they built in those 10 minutes when they talk to you they ruin it in the end I can take a lot more things from talking to such a religious person without buying or taking anything from them and just having a conversation. That would carry a lot more, I would carry a lot more with me afterwards than a book I never opened and I'm probably not gonna open it very soon. Talking to me made me open my mind and consider it. Making me do this destroyed everything, ruined it. If you have any kind of encounter like this, just let me know your experience with religious persons or, and your tips about how to I can actually avoid them without being a douche. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next time tomorrow. Whatever. I'm gonna... <laughs>